It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Daltons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, Bob I guess they're just throwing us right in the direction. How he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, you'd say. Finally, the oh. bastard took his brothers to Coverville just to shut her up. Right. It's always the woman's problem. Yeah, oh, shit. So, we're back. Well, the locals recognize the Daltons right off. It's always the women's problem. Half the town took up arms to defend their property. Yeah, that went okay. Hey, yo. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I can use two. Whatever. I don't want to. Well, you are stuck in the door. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, we're back. For more Call of Quarters, Gunslinger. And that was easy. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity. But everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. All right. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The Get ready, boys. The They're gonna make months. a move. Now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by okay. many a lawbreaker. I'm not gonna sh- no Come on. Go. That. The, slip away. the marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta wait for some of the This bounty hunter knew no. that the Come brothers on. were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. Damn it. Come on, I'm in there alone to confront those criminals. Oh. Ladder from the sky. Well, ladder from nowhere. Shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, what do you think you're going, dumbass? That right was mine. But he paid him no mind. That right was mine. That's my rifle now. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. I guess my bubble, but let's look for some nuggets of truth. From above. I so know. A water towel is right there. Shut the crack up, Dwight. Shut up, Dwight. Nobody cares. You don't care. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder. Laughing at danger as he did. Oh god. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Oh, it's gonna... It's gonna be bad. Oh, man, I did it. Oh, shit. Are those on my side? Yeah, they are. They are. We've got company. Come on, that was a headshot. There was headshot. Like couldn't or would to make this country free. Is that Silas Greaves? Jim Burke. I am the alley. Silas. Come on, shoot through the. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Nope. Alright, you're stopping me. I ain't gonna stop you so hard. I want the meeting, but ouch. Hello, they robbed the bank. Federal bank. Oops. Over there. Nope. That didn't go as planned. What the hell? Blank, blank. He came away victorious, taken down uh, uh, those thieving uh, uh, dogs. Up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. 
Oh yeah. His name Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Wait, what? Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. It was early evening, not high noon. Always high noon. Okay, trapper, tra trapper, trapper. Say the armor fourth bullet will bounce off. Nice. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. The Daltons blew up a safe, and we're all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. They are no. Me. M Bob Emigrat, the lady of the Lou Love and the Lucy. those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. Oh, dynamite! And finally, they did. Oh. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. They still had friends in Coffeeville. Sounds very smart. Coffee will. Come on, get out of here. What did he do? I don't know. Nope. Nope. Using Althal's door and me? No. Nope. I'm not gonna fail this time. Yes. Say. Wild dogs, tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the dolphins running with the money and didn't want to lose it. The problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it all, I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Entirely. Oh shit. No, it was the Smiths. They were cousins of the dolphins. Every fourth bullet. Every fourth bullet. The Browns who were shooting at the dolphins. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. And a farmer spits and all. Pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But Cow that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. <laughs> Half a meal. I expected some stuff in here, but I guess not. <coughs> I guess not. No nuggets, no nothing. Oh, nugget. Related to the famous youngers, the Dalton brothers, Gra Graydon, Graydon, Bob, and Emmett gave up their jobs as lawmen in the 1980s to form the. So called Dalton's Gang. The sole purpose of their enterprise was to run trains, banks, and make a hell of a lot of more money than they ever did as peace officers. They also counted a bit of the 30 the famous cousins enjoyed as members of the James Gang. One such robbery ended with the arrest of Great, who the mayor's astonished marshals were in custody by escaping from a moving train. Great stole a key and changed from a nap and gown and jumped through the window and ran in the river while the train was passing over a bridge. The Deltas weren't always so lucky, one of them, Bob. Desperate to make a reputation. As an outlaw, that would surpass uh, the BSC James, suggested an incredibly daring plan. He wanted to rob two banks at the same time, in broad daylight. On October 5th, 1892, the brothers rode into Coffeeville, their hometown. They hid behind fake be beards and attempted to do what no outlaw had done before. The bold plan ended in complete disaster for the brothers and their comrades in arms. Bob died that day, and his brother Emmett shot 23 times, miraculously lived. Went to prison and was later pardoned. He died in Hollywood in 1937 after trying his hand at being an actor and author and a real estate agent. Alright. We're going. The Dalton on. boys knew I would never give up. You bet your damn ass. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer. Uh. They always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. And it didn't. Uh, uh, okay. So I'm going where here? I 
guess. It was him, the youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Reeves. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect oh, his brothers. Oh, oh shit. Good how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long time. Die, damn it. Some shit. What? I'm gonna tear you apart. I'm gonna tear you apart. Okay. So double barrel, I guess. Nope. Oh, reload. Yeah. But Emma Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Well, I did shoot him in the head, like... But I have to 20. admit, that boy had grit. True grit. Bounty Hunter is still my name. Bounty Hunter is still my name. Loading. <clears throat> Wheel down for a quick swap, yeah. Swapping weapons is always quicker than reloading. Yeah. Will you get those suckers? It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this! And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. Oh, that's nice. No, oh, I have this Let's shit to get on. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. Uh. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. I thought. <laughs> it was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Shut up, Ben. By my recollection, it was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. Right. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color. Red as blood. I thought someone threw, threw a dynamite at me or something. Why is one seeing the orientation? The rains that team. year were torrential, right. so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Just looking for nuggets. Ah. Uh. Charles Earl Bowles, better known as Black Bart, was undoubtedly among the Wild West's most unusual stagecoach robbers. British by birth, Black Bart was a polite man, and known for his manners and refined taste. It is difficult to believe that such a gentleman bandit really operated in California and Oregon in the 1870s and 80s. 1870s and 80s, yes. Legend has it that on at least two on at least two occasions he left handwritten poems at the scene of the crime. This one is from 1877. 80... <coughs> I have labored long and hard for bread, for honor and for, for riches. But on my corns so long your thread, you tread, you fine haired sons of bitches. Black Bart never lacked personal charm. After getting out of jail, he asked by a journalist about returning to his criminal ways. He answered with a smile, No. No, you gentlemen, I'm through with crime. Then another reporter wanted to know if you write any more poems. Black Bart laughed and replied, Now, didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear me say that I'm through with crime? He never fired a gun during any of his robberies, and often were done with him getting to the crime scene on foot to this deeply held fear of horses. Alright. Understandably. Come on. Uh, a couple of times I realized I was lost in that morass. I ain't lost, Silas. I'm just looking. Bury them in the swamp. Oh. Where they uh. stand. Except for some some bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm. So oh, I had to face them alone. Yes, please. Uh, oh, I wonder why me. my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. But it was the shooting at me. I don't know. So 
So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. Uh, you gonna die? Shit. I know revolver ain't really the long range weapon. Well, let's hit the Come on. Alright, I'm wasting him. Rifle time. Boom. I really need ammo. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. I always have to reload, right? Oh. There's quite a lot of people. Oh god! I did not see that! Dang! Dang, damn it! Is coming for you. Psh, psh. Well, I should have killed. Him. Are you going to die, please? Man. Oh, that's a shotgun. I was under serious attack. My reinforcements was nowhere to be seen. Um, can't go nowhere, asshole. This is it. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, all right. All right, fine. Fair enough. Luckily, a barn materialized as if right before my eyes. I scrambled up top to get a better view. Getting a better view. Finally, ammo. Finally, some ammo. Oh, come on. And uh, oh. just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. Nope, I shot him. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. God damn it! Steve? Steve, your so asshole. I started walking, and pretty soon... It... Oh, Steve. Steve. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. God damn it, Steve. <laughs> it's all your fault, Steve. Indians? There were Indians? No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now where was See, I? See, goddamn Steve you were ruining everything. The through a swamp. That's right. See, Steve, Dwight's paying attention. No, I, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. Yeah. So, sure, Steve. Where was I? I heard you snore. Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Stop that, so oh. 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 So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. Oh shit! You can't breed like rabbits. What? I didn't even see that shit. Bounty hunter. You fraps! Oh come on! Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. You can't oh, that's bad. Like or or um, we start high combat concentration. 
dynamite capacity increased, street sweeper, more sh shotgun rounds. Eh, I like the waste not. Sounds good. Well, what's more important than family? How bit Ben knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting double even if... Uh, it must be when I kill... Um, when I kill someone in concentration, I get dope. Which works with my pistol thing, because when I get double fire or whatever, I get full. Oh, I don't need no bullets. Oh, I got dynamite! Sub a bitch. Damn it. Why do you have such a good aim? Well, why do you all have so good aim? Kinda of bullshit. Kinda of bullshit. God damn it. God double damn it. Who the fuck are you in me? Hard to you know, stupid asshole. Always perfect aim. I don't like it. Die, die. Die, 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 die. Holy shit. Somebody has a shotgun, I think. Yep. I knew those Dalton boys were out there somewhere. Standing together against anyone who would threaten them. Oh, you threatening no one. I have to kill these Dalton assholes. I get tired of all this bullshit aim. Aimbot, aimbot AI. I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat in a swamp? Yeah, Steve. But yeah, this Steve. Wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Shut up, Yak. Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. They're high enough. It was in that a fuselage of bullets come a raining down what? from our house. And those vigilantes who accompanied me were anywhere to be found. Oh, come but on. But those men that were shooting at me. I saw some familiar faces. Yeah, I guess as much. I have proof. I said it before. Kind of. Holy crap. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm running. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Yes. I don't know why I eat the dynamite. It's not a waste. Kill them. I saw you. I saw you. Somewhere up there, the dolphins were waiting on me. Oh, I can bet your ass there. Nope. I got a card. Fall your sh stupid Sounds aim. Like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. Bad. I set out to do something. I do. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. Whoa. For some reason, that looks like a shitty guy. Kinda. No! I fell through the floor! You saw that. You saw that shit. You saw that shit. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I ain't. I am not gonna accept that. I fell through the floor. You saw it. You saw it. You know it. Gonna do more like that game. Oh, gonna... oh no! Ah, going Rambo on your ass. I don't know. I'm trying to do commentary here. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not as easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. <coughs> Exploration. Do I dare? Maybe I will fall through the floor. I know there's a hole there. 
but I fell through the, <sighs> the goddamn planks, the plank part of the floor. Stupid shit. Go. I can't go over here. Alright. Fine. 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 I am mad. I'm I ain't doing Nope. Right about then. Much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. To kill me. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had him. After months of dogged pursuit. Oh man. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna push down here. But it turned out that they had me. Yeah, that's easy. I'm sending you to hell. That was very. The Daltons had played me like a fiddle. Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But yep. finding my way out of a burning yep. labyrinth yep. proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. But yeah, but I was in a fight. Oh, God. You're talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to... So anyway, don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say the Titanic is unsafe. Oh God! But getting back to that steamboat, how did you get off, Mr. Breeze? Oh no, third section. I smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow I managed to finally disembark. It was time to settle this once and for all. Can't not have a third section, right? Oh, I can use this. Kill everything, blow everything up, I mean, of course. Die, die, die! Yeah, Turk shoot. Just blast these fools. 32, 32, 34, 34. Oh shit. This combo is amazing! Combo is even more amazing. Oh man. Yeah, give me all the level ups. about to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two level ups. Two brothers side by side oh, crap. to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Oh no. Double jewel. I can do it. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh! They got it wrong. A sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. Sad story. Alright, right is fire. Count attack, you have a sense of death, see your last breath. Revenge, after you manage to avoid a lethal bullet. It's a shooter will be shooter will be marked for execution by headshot and you will see a small amount of free concentration. Unless you're fighting a legendary boss, those guys have a few tricks up the sleeves. Silver shotgun! Hickey. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, 
I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. Oh, they asshole. wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives. As those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me until I heard he was riding with the wild bunch. Sad story. Let's get them soon to bitches. They're not so great train robbery. <laughs> Don't climb a ladder with nearby enemies. I'd been on their trail for months. Ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Chase the wild bunch. Led by yeah. Butch Cassidy. They were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe, Roscoe Bob, Bob Bryant. Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. What? 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 Uh... Well, I assume the Wild Bunch was likely in the still yeah, intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. Hold I on. was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Uh, he will pay. Trust me. Oh, shit. Um, moving on. Sort of rifle. Ooh. Guess it's more like a short range rifle, like a shotgun. Nah, I don't know. <coughs> oh. I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. Ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Well, I made my way off Shit. unscathed and speed. came upon a few members what of the, the gang hell? and had no choice but to dispatch them. Yep. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious way. <laughs> but first, I would need to get my ass out of there. But it might be something over here. And I mean, there might be something over here. In the back here, maybe. Maybe. Nope. Back here, maybe. Nope. Them, them be fake invisible walls. Oh shit! found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Alright, this calls for double. Inside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. Well, what about the passenger? Huh? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh man, I love this game. I really love this game. As I mentioned the before, music. I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. I was too caught up in revenge. I was likely to die that day anyway. 
So I was determined oh. to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Oh my sweet. Look at this shotgun. Times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. Yep. Oh shit. I can't see anything. Holy shit, that move is straight up good. Alright. <laughs> George Flat Nose Curry. George Solid Curry, better known as Flat Nose Curry, was a man of another famous outlaw, Harvey Logan. Logan, who would up the last name of this experienced friend, came to be known as Kitty Curry, the wildest of the wild bunch. Both men robbed banks together and later on the famous wild bunch led by Birch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Flatnose participated in the famous Union Pacific Overland Flight Trade Rubber near Wilcox, Wyoming in 1899. Flatnose and Kitty Curry later passed from the wake of the robbery and killed the marshal in charge. Not a year later, Flatnose was in the business of kill theft in Utah when his luck ran out. The police found him when the sheriff just entirely tracked him down. Upon hearing his the news, Kitty Curry decided to avenge his brother from a different mother. <laughs> yeah. He made his way to Utah and killed Sheriff Taylor and his in a bloody shootout. I want my gun back. So, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh, ladder. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in? Guns a blazing to help? No, son. Or maybe they did. Help? From the Pinkertons? Nope. No, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. Who the hell is that? Can't run from me. Keep running, boys. I'm coming. Off the lag. Off the lag, I said. I'll kill you all. Blame your boss. Oh, shit. Alright, let's do it. Lag. Please, oh god, lag! I can't even see anything. Oh! God damn it, traps. So are you, are you finished? Traps, you shithead. Stop this. I don't want to stop recording. That's because you are going to be a douche. Yes. Thank you. For now, at least. My guess is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Only a few stragglers were left. Ah, oh, the lag. Down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Eat the third section. I might have to, you know, stop this shit and do stuff here. I hope it can be avoided though. I can't see no oh wait. there we go, here we go. Getting the experience.
call this the experience section. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who is he? The fastest gun in the gang. Come on. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry. And maybe Elsie Lay. <laughs> Though some folks might dispute that. Come on now. I'm gonna end it after you. Well, no. I'm gonna restart after you. Nope. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. He's fast. He's very fast. But I can do this. No, no, focus, 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 please. Yep. Well, Not this time, fool. Same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. Honorable killed. Skills, alright. And Kimbo Trapple, you always have shotguns, so I don't really care. But must have take it, I guess. More concentration, full blast. Just a close person, ah. Uh. Yeah, uh, we no, we go with the the thing is skilly. Skill. Yeah, one thirty to L. Loading, 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 you can't touch bullets when you climb a ladder. Or you're just getting on. Yeah, cause you can't move. Well. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was on. as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail and now he was running the whole shebang. So Man. I took to their trail. As I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. That kid Curry's kind of crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Where are you? Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Who's shooting at? I thought those were explosive pairs. My, my, my fault. What the fuck? This is what I'm talking about. Ridiculous. Whoa. Alright. You like dynamite? Fucking assholes. Oh, come on. Nope. You like dynamites? You can have dynamites. Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Oh, Old please. Bob wasn't among them, and either was Kid Curry. I'm not gonna read this, you can pause and read it if you want to read it. I could send some close by, however. Plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. So I'm not going down there. Okay. Then I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Yeah, I was gonna say, that looks safe. 
even without the dynamite, it's totally safe. Totally safe. Prevent gang from blowing Kid up the palace. Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only five. <sighs> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. Fat Sally. The bridge was rigged with dynamite. So I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. Ooh, dynamite. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Do you really? Alright. I'm gonna try to take out you first. And perfect. But the wild bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What yep. happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. No, 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 no. Once no! Done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Yes, I wanted the shotgun. I said, leave me alone. All I want is this. Here's my oh crap! What is happening? All right, all right. I can't. All right. Don't shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Nope. Why did I even try that? Yeah, maybe I do. What's it to you? All the level ups. Alright. Armor shotgun. So what happened then? Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. Yep. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. I shot the rope, I did. Moving across, all my way across. I don't know what happened, but it was awesome. And the bridge. Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Yeah, of course. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. Ah, they killed you. What? Can't hear you. Things exploding everywhere. Oh, you're really pissing me off. Well, you're trying to blow up a bridge. We're a train. We're a train. It's not a bridge. A train track that is very stupidly built. Well, I guess they didn't have much choice back then. But still, it, wasn't, it, it isn't very smart. Yeah, it isn't very smart. Ah. See, I'm smart. Oh, I'm so smart. Ah, uh, okay. I'm so smart, because I know where to go. No, I don't. Please uh, help me map marker. I'm too... I'm too stupid to know where to go. Why am I even going up here? I don't care about the nuggets right now. I think it's said to go here. I did. 
Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. Okay. It was a long burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. What? Oh yeah, I'm catching. I'm catching it. The burning fuse was so damn quick. I had to run like the wind. I almost had it. But no. Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Go, go, go. Finally, at the last moment. Put it out. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. <laughs> Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, then it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. Yep. So exhausted. Kill that is Finally I found those boys. Or more precise. Perfect. They, they found me. Fruitcake? Pick up a fruitcake. Come on now. Kill him please. Oh, come on. Um, oh god, I'm hiding. Nope. This is gonna hurt. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Give him the dynamite. Oh yeah, very nice. Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out. Come on now. Oh God. I'm sorry. So bitch. What do you mean luckily I yeah, never mind? I think you're scared. Kid Curry is the name. I don't really know what his real name was. And done. That tunnel down. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Good. Jewel. Jewel. Keep your head, keep your hand and arms over your hand. Keep your revolver at all times. Uh, yeah, this is good. If I lose this, I don't even know what. Oh! Fast as he was, I was just a bit faster. 100% speed. Nice. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. I drank some water, because I'm badass. 
Those were his last words. Finito. And I killed him honorably. Oh. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. And what about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James. Episode 8. Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. Yep. The Thrides of Steel Stallion. I'm gonna have to do a thing. One second. But I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was gonna find this gym. You're going to miss some uh, couple of seconds there because my stupid traps trap stop. I guess. Oh, it's an armor shotgun. I'm not going over there. All right. I'm coming for you. What did I get? I run it sort of, yeah, whatever. Oops. Well, that didn't work. I don't even need to reload. Now, now wait a second. Now, how'd they stop this train in the first place? Well, the James boys were experts at this. Staring a train down. They had a train having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. Yep. Do I still have my... Yeah. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. And so I will soon, sometime. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I the reached James that. James Younger pulled the first train robbery west huh? of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? It probably did. Whatever. Back that dynamite. I'm scared. Because apparently death is coming. But for you. gentlemen's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Oh, that's nice. Well, I've had more than a few drinks and uh, 
I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. All right. I never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. <laughs> this is interesting. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe The same it. part over and over. You don't think he met Jesse James? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the ball. Are boss. you seriously <laughs> think a tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? <laughs> well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. Up. Uh, okay. Some bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton! It's a damn Pinkerton! Oh. Now, I never worked for that limey cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Come on. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. It was no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted me dead. Firebomb. Always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. I bet you are. Yak your ass. And leather. Damn, that's a lot of birds. Or flying <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I ain't doing mad. I ain't even flustered. I came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Oh. Oh, okay. Nope, I still don't know. I'm guessing I'm guessing I'm just jumping up. Oh god! This isn't easy. Come on. Come on! Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, I overthought it. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatling gun. Well, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatling gun. Asshole? <laughs> Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. Indeed, Jack. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Come on, now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. More whoa. Oh no. Okay. I think it's fine. No southern moves. I'm I was hiding. Alright, I'm doing this the boat away. Or not. Alright. I have you, okay.
Move it on up. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, I mean. I'm a stupid son of a bitch. You're a stupid son of a bitch. Eat dynamite. Eat all my dynamite. Please don't shoot this. Obvious uh, explosive crate in front of me. Oof. You know, a real one man army. Shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. Oh, do you kill these guys? I don't even. I don't even. Alright. Shoot him in the toe of the head, I guess. There sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. I'm not even gonna let you read. Because I wanna move on with the story, you know. It's, it's fun to read those, I guess. But that's not really my thing right now. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from oh, the, the damn train. I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. Jewel. You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. All right. I'm waiting. Nope. Catch up. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first I need to whip my whistle. I smell bullshit. Without forgiveness. Yes, James murdered in 1882. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Stuff, he was killed. So After yeah. my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch, Jim. I followed those <coughs> bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Indians? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, shy of them, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Yes, indeed it was. Um, don't, 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 don't. See? Like a boss. You're not gonna kill me. Never, I say. More engines, or whatever you call them. You got to meet you. Runner. Hey, how about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Sure. Don't care. Oh, well, I remember this place. Now, where was I? Indians, right. I had more than my share of runnings with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. Oh. Ah, of course I did. 
In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again. Kill him, thank kill you. Kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything you are. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe I shouldn't have walked up like this. Or maybe this was supposed to happen, I guess. Wait. It, are they are they normal are they normal people now? Normal peoples. Yes they are. So did you ever find him? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Greaves? Are you alright? Uh that's a truth to seeking, I guess. Whatever. Ooh, 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 Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this that I can't see? With eyes cold hands, they can hold me. Well, I am deaf, none can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, dear, someone would pray. Could you wait to call me another day? Oh, 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 dear, won't you spare me over to another year? So are you going to answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed, did you ever find God him? God damn it, Ben Rudy moment. Was indeed that son of bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. Frank James, all right, you will. Thank the gods. I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. Shot a bird or something. Run for it! Oh! Duh, that was damn close. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Holy shit. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with that since I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And so I, I closed on him. in on him again. He backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Well, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. 
Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice. <sighs> Isn't that why you were hunting the James gang? The James gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. <sighs> okay, so... I ruined the moment, I'm sorry. It was again. a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my position. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember it, Jack. Take him out! He's just one man! Put him down! Walk that bastard down! Nope. So, more dynamites. Never. We die. But he didn't die. Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. Or maybe Frank they... James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri. Showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? They all we survived somehow. I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit! I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him! I never did like that bastard. I am done here. We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Thank you, Frank. Thank you very much. Much obliged. to let that murderer escape my revenge again. So, what happened with me? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts. All right. <gasps> Stupid snipers. I'll show you. My revolvers. I decided it would be better to smoke that son of a bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star while you're off providing for the family. She's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Oh, Not an snap. attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Oh, oh shit. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, he's mad. Oh, he's really mad. This cave again? It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone please kill him? I never give up till I get my revenge. Friends. I am the man. Ah, come on. Come on now. Can't be this. Oh no. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, there we go. Alright. I live. For now. Oh! More people. Why the hell does it take so many bullets? Oh, yeah. I guess it's a short straight weapon. Oh, whatever. 
I'm gonna do it this way then. Nah, whatever. Come on, oh, pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. God damn it. I don't know when to these bastards. Eventually, it was just me and Reed. Oh yeah. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Can you stand still, please? Mr. Bald. Yeah, you're fucked. You are so fucked. Right in the head. And repay him I did. Jim Reed. Righteous, I guess. This is the last chapter then. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Back to episode 7. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Are we going to America? Nope. The good, the bad, and the dead. Um, rather than the ugly, I guess. Well, depends on what how you see it. Ugly is in a, a real ass asshole like in the movie. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Whatever. I guess I'm taking the pocket strapper more stuff. Okay. Oh, there's someone to buy them. Oh, there's someone to buy me. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. Come on. But the last one. Roscoe Bob Bryant. That some bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. Got no good to stay by. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I've been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. Screw that nugget. That, that chapter of my story you already know. Where am I going? Chapter of that ah. kill, you mean? Damn. Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a Whatever. ghost town dead almost two decades. The town was falling apart, just like me. Nope. But I wasn't about to call it quits. I'm Silas, my father. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The wild bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. 
But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. I'm running. I am a psycho. Come on now. Oh. I'm not dealing with the dynamite. I can't deal with you assholes. Come on. You like dynamite so much you can have them. Obviously prevailed uh, since you're sitting here telling us today. Actually, in that moment, I did not know that he wanted to go to girl. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. when I woke up uh, from the dead there was silence all around me uh, no I can swear to God I saw Billy then Billy who Billy the kid William Bonnie he was shooting at me from a rooftop Even over there. So you whipped mad. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer. Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a-blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. But no, sir, never. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. Maybe this is crazy. And in the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Hardy, just like I remember. <laughs> that face. Sorry, but I looked hilarious. appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun <laughs> and the murder rate oh come on Yeah, I'm gonna be more careful. There we go. Ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Yeah, thanks for that. William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Nope. They can't have me. Sorry. Apparently I'm straying away from the story. I'm sorry. Guess I'm fighting down here. The Dalton brothers, Robert and Grant, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. I'm 
sorry about you ain't having it. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought. Shut the fuck up. Stupid asshole. I don't like him. I'll make him run for it. And I still have no nope, power rifle. Shit. 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 Nope. Nope. Reload. You had to reload, you asshole! You also... <laughs> no MPC rule here. Oh, I don't reload, because I don't... I'm on AI. No! Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. you won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Get us mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Oh, man. Q and D. Okay. Mm. Look at me. Huh? You're looking at me. Oh man. Oh! Nope! Oh, come on! No. That's not supposed to happen. Don't tell me I have to do it all over again. God damn it. Somebody gonna... Yeah, please. Look at me. Focus now, and I'm speeding up. Well, I'm focused to max now. Nope. Oh. 
So what am I supposed to How oh I was supposed to press Q and E? Well damn. I didn't see shit there. How was I supposed to know? Hey, look at me. Don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. Don't ignore me, I said. Oh man. Oh man. Oh come on! This is so goddamn bullshit, you don't even know. I fucking hate this shit. So annoying. Who am I gonna have to shoot you? Probably. Yep. Gus Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. God damn. <sighs> Fuck that shit. Finale. Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Oh, man. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh, man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob? Oh, shit. Your past always catches up with you. Oh, hey, old. Oh, shit. I, I was a different man back then. Crazy. Drinking. I, I changed my ways. I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. You can't. Revenge or redemption? I'm going redemption, I think. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See? All those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I... Uh... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob. Fuck 
them all. That was Call of Wars. Oh, Gunslinger. Fun game. I like it a lot. I like the music, you know, the combat and everything. Just an annoying Super Aim enemies is kinda annoying sometimes. Yeah. Well, something after the credits. New Game Plus is now available. Start a new store, retaining all unlocked skills and weapons. True West difficulty level is now available. Try again and go through the store with minimal heart. Unlock some difficulty to get the real Western experience. Okay. Achievements. Oh. Ah, Steam. Shop Steam. Need a board? What? Oh, arcade. Alright, so um, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next game.